proteins, each a rich bundle of fat. The bowhead is well equipped to harvest them, opening its enormous mouth that strains copepods by the ton. The whales feed here for just three weeks and then head off to parts unknown. To find out where, Mods Peter and his team will play out an ancient harpooning epic in miniature. But for the good of the whales, a near miss, but the team is not easily deterred. And so much hangs in the balance. We should study them, not just because we love them, but also because they are important parts of the ecosystem and they have important stories to tell back to us. bowhead sets off on its chilly course, taking us along via satellite. Knowing where it will go is a crucial step in the battle to protect its waters and ensure the future of its kind. In Puget Sound, Washington, Ken Balcom pored over images from the naval sonar exercise of May 5, 2003. I just wonder what it's like for these whales. We're seeing responses that suggest there are some of them trying to get their head out of the water. They're unsure of which direction to swim. Just how much hearing damage do they suffer as a result of this? And how important is it to their survival if they've lost hearing in this frequency range? Exactly how sonar might affect marine mammals like whales and porpoises has long been a matter of controversy. But Ken knew that sonar can harm at least one kind of whale. Eerily enough, the evidence also arrived on his doorstep, but in a different place more than three years earlier. The Bahama Islands, March 2000. Ken had been studying a group of little known beaked whales for almost a decade. One morning, the unthinkable happened. One of his whales came ashore. The most extraordinary part was that it swam in right in front of the house that we were staying in. It could have been a mile away, and we would never heard about it. As we were pushing the first whale out, neighbors reported another whale about a mile away. So we went down and kept it wet. And while we were doing that, other neighbors reported another whale. Seventeen animals stranded that day, including one dolphin, two minke whales, and 14 beaked whales, six of which died. Ken took to the air to look for more whales and whatever might be driving them out of the water. He cited more...